Can you hear that? That's a geyser. Yeah, did you know there were geysers in upstate New York? I'm of course talking about the Saratoga Springs, a quirky geological formation. It's different from the geysers in Yellowstone. That's caused by magma. These geysers are caused by natural carbonated water emanating off of oil shale down below, pushing up against the bedrock and causing the water to shoot out. That means this water is not hot. It is, however, very, very smelly. Still, some people like it. There's also tons of hiking trails here. There's tons of hoity-toity stuff. I'll show you guys some of that stuff. And there's, of course, the Saratoga Battlefield. I thought I'd see that. Today's gonna be a big adventure in Saratoga Springs. Yeah, can you imagine walking through the woods and coming across something like that? The native Mohawks here revered these springs as a therapeutic resource, as medicine, the same way the English colonists did when they arrived. Unfortunately, by the 1900s, the place had become commercially exploited for its natural carbonated water, which was used for soda. It came to a point that the springs had been so depleted, a lot of them stopped springing. Thankfully, the state acquired the land and the, the springs have more or less restored to their natural state. This creek that runs through the entire park is very milky with all the mineral sediment and a lot of people go bathing in it. They think it heals them. I'm not sure about that. It smells terrible though. It's fascinating how the crystals and salts just kind of fossilize the leaves. These all look like they're just, you know, ready to break leaves, but they're all hard as stone. When they tried to commercialize this place as a resort in the early 1900s, they made all these decorative facades around the natural springs. I have to say I hate them. I would have much rather it just been left in its natural state, shooting out of the water. I think that would have been way more impressive. Yeah, it literally tastes like soda water. You can just drink it straight. It tastes a lot better than it smells. I just drank so much out of that spring that's up there, of that salty ass water. I just like guzzled a gallon. There's a line forming behind me. One guy looked at me like I was freaking crazy. I just can't find like any concession booths or like anywhere to buy food or drink. There's one visitor center down there. No food or drink, not even bottled water. One of the springs down there is literally a pipe they tapped into the vein underground. That's how they extracted all this stuff when it was a soda making area. You kind of have to cobble together your own path to see all the springs. That's what I'm doing, using Google Maps a lot. Yeah, so aside from tasting good, that water actually feels really good around my feet. I guess you can feel the carbonation or something. It felt very medicinal, I'll put it like that. I think I've seen all the geysers at this point. There's no good trail system here. There's no like geyser loop trail or anything. It's not a well-designed park. That's one of the downsides, but one of the upsides is the Saratoga Performing Arts Center, where you can see some great shows, weddings. I've been to both here. It's just up this road. So SPAC is closed for a jazz festival. That would have been cool but I couldn't really peek past the gate because of that. I think I saw all the geysers. I learned that those formations over the leaves are called tufa, that mineralizes it like that. There's also a lot of other stuff around this park, like a disc golf course and some swimming facilities and some hiking trails. I'm gonna walk what I can before we move on to the battlefield. So they have all these awesome mineral baths here, but they're all hoity-toity expensive spas. I'm not paying for that. Thankfully, there is a cafe in the building right across the way here. Boy, a cafe sure would have been nice, but they're closed. Who closes at two on a Sunday? Yeah, aside from not a good trail system here, there's nowhere to get food or drink if you're not inside that spec that you had to pay for. It's like not even a vending machine, kind of sucks. I'm gonna get out of here and head to a gas station and get my coffee fix before I move on to the battlefield and see more grim stuff. All right, let's get this show on the road. 
Saratoga was a zoo by the time I left. The parking lots, including a lot of converted vans, I notice those everywhere I go now. The battlefield, however, is much more sparsely populated, ironically, more relaxing. The visitor center is really cool. They, they have a cannon actually captured from the British during the Battle of Saratoga. They do a good overview of the Battle of Saratoga, the entire order of battle, what exactly happened. Mostly took place in this hill right here. There's also some hiking trails here, so with what time is left in the day, I'm gonna get some exercise, enjoy the woods around here. It's such a beautiful day. So many wild raspberries on this trail. I like it already. Right down in this spot where about a hundred German soldiers were mowed down after an American charge is the largest patch of wild raspberries I've ever seen. You see all of this? These are all raspberries. I'm basically eating my way through the Battle of Saratoga. Eventually the fields end and you come to this forested area. A lot of the Battle of Saratoga was fought in the woods. People just running, sneaking up on each other. It wasn't all just lines of battle in an open field. Unfortunately, I'm not going to find any raspberries in here. They don't grow in high canopy areas like this. Not sure I'll find anything at all. This little guy down here is a three pound cannon. That's a six pound cannon. These were the workhorses of the British artillery brigades. I love this little guy right here. The Saratoga battlefield is absolutely beautiful. I actually enjoyed walking around here more than I did the Geysers Park. Just lots of open fields and cannons and raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. I need to start moving back towards Boston though. I don't want to spend another night in upstate New York. I need to head towards Massachusetts while we still have some daylight left. Oh, so I managed to time tonight's drive perfectly. Just as I was getting up over the Taconic Crest, from New York State into Massachusetts, the sun was setting. Managed to pull over on a bend in Route 20 and try to do a time lapse of the sunset. Even out as I was driving down into the Housatonic Valley, just the sky was lit up pink in the east. I wish I could have pulled over and shot it. But still, I had a great time today in Saratoga. Those geysers are pretty crazy. For the Northeast, that's pretty interesting geological phenomena, I think. Anyway. I am stealthing tonight. I'm actually at a Walmart, so I need to be super quiet, keep the lights down low, nothing too flashy tonight, hence it being kind of dark right now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's hike. If you want to hit that like button, I'll have plenty more adventures coming up. I'm not sure when this will air, but the next one after this is going to be really, really cool. I mean, all my videos are cool. Anyway, peace out, everyone.